So next, we're going to talk about the mutate function. Mutate, what it does is it adds columns to a data frame. It's a very useful function. Uh, you will end up using it all of the time. So to get started, we'll, we'll take the bike order lines table. And we're going to first select it down just to reduce the number of uh, rows that we're going to be dealing with. So say we wanted to do an analysis related to the prices uh, on our order line. So every order line, we wanted to analyze, analyze the prices. We could select maybe the order date column, the model column, and then we could select quantity and price. So we've got the quantity and the price here. And um, one thing we might want to do is use a mutate. And we've seen this before uh, where we, we calculated a total price column, which is the total on the order line, which is the quantity times the price. So what this mutate does is it'll add that new column, quantity asterisk for multiply and price. So quantity times price, and we've got now a, a new column called total price. Okay, so let's save this as um, a new uh, variable. We'll call it bike order line order lines prices because this is all the information related to prices. Hit Alt Dash. I'm going to save this. It's now up here, and we can see that it's five variables. If I output that, this will be our bike order line, just the prices. All right, so that is just adding a column. If I want to overwrite a column, what we can do is we can take that bike order lines prices and do another mutate, and this time, what we can do is take the name of that column and we can overwrite it. So say I wanted to convert that total price to a log of the total price. Now it's in log format. And notice that though that if I just send that total, that bike order lines prices back to the console, the actual data over here has not been overwritten yet. However, when I run it through, if I were to save this as if I were to um, save this as bike order line prices again, then this would overwrite. So it's only overwritten when the um, uh, once we save it to a variable. So it actually makes it very useful for iteratively um, creating new columns. So we could do another column. Uh, so we could. We could do uh, log total price. Um, we could do uh, total price squared or the square root of total price. So if I do log total price, and I'm going to save this as total price, we'll say log at the end. Whoops, missed my parenthesis here. Okay, so total price log. So this will actually add a new column. So now we have total price, total price log. And if I wanted to do total price square root, we can do total price. And we can raise this to the 0 0.5. And now we have the square root of the total price. So overwriting columns, what you're going to do is just do that mutate with uh, the, the column name, so total price, and then overwrite it to whatever you want. So we did log total price, and then keep in mind though, once you overwrite that column, all these other operations, so this is the log of the log of total price now, and this is the square root of the log of total price. So that's not typically what you want. But overwriting columns, you just rename that column, uh, or, or you uh, provide it the column name. 
and uh, do whatever transformation on that column that you want to do. And then if you want to do mathematical operations, it's very easy to do transformations. So these would be transformations. that you can do total price, the log of total price, the square root of total price. So this will be arithmetic, we'll say uh, transformations. Okay, so this is overriding that column and this is performing transformations on that column. Okay, so um, mutate. One other thing I wanna show you is uh, very common that I do, I'll add flags. So we can do that with a mutate. So for example, um, adding a flag uh, is just the idea of adding a binary feature that uh, is just a true false, yes or no, did this happen or did this not, not happen? So bike, if I do my bike order lines prices, which is just our subset data frame, where we just took five of the columns that are related to prices. And I could add a flag here uh, if I'm analyzing these orders and I want to know, is, is this a um, Super 6 model, for example? So if I do mutate and I can do is Super 6, and we can see right here there's a Super 6 model that should get flagged. This one's a Super 6. And that's the variable that I'm going to add. And I'm going to provide it a series of operations. So I'm going to take that model column. And what I'm going to do is pipe it into str underscore to lower. So you'll see what this does here. It just converts everything to lower. And then what I'm going to do is pipe it into another function called str detect. And I'm going to type super six. So what this does is then um, converts it to logical. Uh, it, it's detecting whether or not super six is present over here. And um, you can see in a few cases. So right here's a true, there's a true, there's a true. Um, so we can see just even in these first 10 rows that super six is, is pretty frequently found. Um, and we can also even use this new column to filter. So I can just pass is super six. And now we filter down to any models that have super six in the, um, and we can see that 1500 of them are returned. Okay. So those are the basics of the mutate function. There's a lot of uh, vectorized functions that you can use. Um, we'll go over more throughout the course. Uh, but these are some of the, this is some of the basic concepts that you're going to be doing. So such as adding a column, overwriting columns, doing, tra doing uh, statistical transformations, uh, and adding flags. Um, these are just very common operations that you'll, you'll be doing.